Welcome, this is Eric Gaxtadder for GeoLearn. Today I'm gonna uh, present a course on key considerations for selecting GPS mapping technology. Uh, by way of background, I write for Geospatial Solutions, a monthly publication online uh, focusing on geospatial applications. And I also write a monthly column for GPS World Magazine, specializing in high precision GNSS. And one, one uh, note I wanna make right off the bat here is that we shouldn't be talking about GP, uh, GPS anymore. It should be about what? GNSS, okay? So GNSS mapping technology. Here we go. So here's the course outline I'd like to talk about today. First of all, defining your requirements, because of course before you uh, go out and purchase equipment and software, you need to know what your requirements are. Understanding GNSS receiver technology. Uh, understanding your software workflow, which is an important part of it. And, and trends, future trends that you should consider when you're in the market to purchase GNSS hardware and software. So first of all, defining your requirements. Well, a big one is the budget constraints. And this is going to drive everything. Of course, if you don't have the budget for it, uh, then you need to uh, either, uh, either save for a future purchase or modify your requirements to, uh, to match your budget. And there's a clear relationship between budget and accuracy. And I've got a slide here in a minute that you'll see where we go through that, uh, that analysis. And also we need to think about the type of data being collected. Because we have, uh, you know, if you just need point data, you can collect it in static mode, that's one thing. But if you need to be collecting uh, polyline data or polygon data, in other words, points collected together to form a line or an area, uh, in a, in a, such as mapping road center lines and, and that sort of thing, then that's a different story altogether. Then we need to talk about the field environment a little bit, because that affects the way that, that GNSS receivers perform in the field. If you've got lots of trees around, if you're around buildings, other obstructions, if the terrain is really rugged, working in the valley or something along those lines, we need to consider that because that's an important uh, consideration for the way GNSS performs in the field. So when you look at the budget, here's a sort of, of a, a budget summary I've come up with. There's a, typically a data collector involved. Doesn't have to be, but there might be. There's software to collect the data, okay? There's some training involved, and that's usually provided by the dealer or someone like GeoLearn or another organization. There's uh, maintenance for software and hardware, and that varies among manufacturers, okay? And that all equals the total cost of ownership. 